morning students today we are going to learn about physics and the topic name is heat energy so last session you all know about what is heat energy and also source of heat and what are the difference between the heat and the temperature so i hope you all understood now today you are going to learn about heat flow and the thermal equilibrium so in this block you able to infer the condition of heat flow and before that you have to learn about keywords thermal equilibrium heat flow and temperature look at the picture i ask you one thing why do we feel warm near a bonfire yes we feel warm near a bonfire because the heat flows from the bonfire to us so first you will learn about the conditions required for heat to flow i gave one example to you look at the picture a it is hot water and b it is cold water and c it is the tap water so you have to imagine that say for example put your right hand into beaker a and your left hand into beaker b then take out both hands and put them into beaker c what do you feel in each case okay in this experiment what happened when you dipped your hand in beaker a and beaker b what will happen if you keep beaker a in the open for some time okay so i explain this the water in beaker a was hot while the water in beaker was cold in beaker c the right hand felt cold and the left hand felt hot this is because the right hand was hotter and the left hand was colder than tap water when we dipped out right hand into hot water in a heat flowed from the water to our hand and made it warm the opposite happened in beaker b and our left hand became colder if beaker a is kept in the open it will cool down as its heat will flow into the surroundings air until its temperature is the same as that of the air so in this experiment you have to conclude that heat is a form of energy that flows from hotter to colder objects heat is transferred when the two objects have different temperatures and are in contact like the water and our hand okay so heat can also transfer from a source of heat like fire to its colder surroundings heat also flows when in an object from its hotter end to colder end heat also flows from the hotter portion of an object to its colder portion of of object the flow of heat stops when there is no difference in temperature this is known as thermal equilibrium during the thermal equilibrium if heat still flows from the source to the object it will be radiated to the surrounding without changing the temperature of the object so heat you have to conclude that form of energy that flows from hotter to colder object and flows when objects at different temperatures are in contact it flows from source of heat to colder surroundings and it flows from hotter end to colder end of object so how does the amount of heat transfer vary with the temperature of the heat source in a given surrounding in a given surrounding higher the temperature of the object the greater the flow of heat from it when the temperature of the heat source decreases heat flow will also decrease i hope you all understood in this topic heat flow thank you